All right, let's look at this, what we've constructed here. Again, I have my Arduino Nano. This, of course, is an LED. This is a potentiometer. Now, what makes this different is I can adjust this pot. And as you can probably see on the LED, I can control the intensity. The LED is connected to the pulse width modulated modulation output pin 9 on Arduino. What is happening here is the IBM PC which you see which is below it which you really can't see is reading the pot value through the Arduino then it transmits the uh, pot value that is divided by 4 because the uh, PWM and the Arduino is 8 bit and not 10 to operate the LED. As you see there. Well, okay, they can argue, well, you could have had the Arduino do it directly. Well, yeah, I could have, but the point of this, either using the PC or Raspberry Pi, and they work identical on this particular circuit is I could hook a dozen sensors up to Arduino or stepper motors, servos, or anything I want and I can operate them by writing and reading 16-bit codes from either a PC printer port or a um, the uh, GPIO on Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look at what happens when you do a temperature read. By the way, if you look here, this is a uh, DS18B20 centigrade temperature sensor. We'll see how that works in a moment. Uh, what it does, it can read, the Arduino reads the value from the uh, temperature sensor under the control of the Raspberry Pi or whatever and sends the uh, value back as an integer. All of the calculations, conversions, and display functions are done with the uh, PC or Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look once again at our uh, LCD display.